Thank you for joining Waking Up With D. Today, I'm taking my mom back home for her. Oops. Yeah, I'm taking her back home. So I'm just gonna vlog a little bit on our drive home. And before we get too much into this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe. Has everyone already subscribed? Thank you so much. Okay, so we have like a three and a half hour drive around there. And we're leaving kind of late in the day because because of me. Because <laughs> long drives are hard for me ever since I oops, got a blood clot a few years ago. And I'm making this drive all in one day. So it's like seven, seven hours on the road. But yeah, my mom's right here. She won't, she'll, you'll just hear her voice. Hello. <laughs> Um, oh, I was going to ask you guys, sorry, my driving, my steering wheel is kind of driving me crazy. Okay. Um, we kind of did a lot while my mom was here. So she came on a Friday and today's Wednesday. So that's a good chunk of time for us to spend together. Yeah. Yes, it was good. What was your... What, um, what, what was the most thing, I can't speak, what was the most fun thing you did? Uh, for you and I to visit your sister, my daughter, and her husband, and, um, her daughter, Ayana. Uh, yeah, that was the funnest, and then eating out was fun, too. Yeah. Yeah, and just spending time talking to you. Like it? Did you like that brunch place? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then where else? Uh, well, we didn't dine in that many places. We had Tomato Street though. Yeah. Tomato Street's always good. Yeah. That was really good, Tomato Street. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had a bad food or like service experience at Tomato Street. That's good. my mascara on I look so like blank oh well um last night we had Carl's Jr. but we just went through the drive through we went um we got a drink at Sonic and we had one of their pretzels with cheese that was really good oh that was yeah my mom got a strawberry limeade and I got a cherry limeade. I could have replaced the limes with lemons. Oh, I would have rather have done that, but that's okay. No, that's But okay. it wasn't really, I, I should have just had done that then, sorry. Oh, that's okay. But it's like, it's kind of like a fake lemonade because they, I feel like they don't even squeeze the lemons or oh. limes. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just the, it just bugs me. Like I love the cherry limeade, but they, they have this limes in the drink but it just tastes like cherry. You have to squeeze the limes. And like a lot of times they're at the very bottom of the cup. So it's hard to deal with, you know. I didn't even notice I had a lime. See? Maybe it was under the... See? Be careful. They should put it on top, not under the ice. Yeah. What else did we do? We spent time talking. I mean... Yeah. Just we went, talking is wonderful. Yeah, I know it is. We went to my niece's soccer game. Oh, yeah. We watched my little sister play basketball. Yeah, we did a lot. My mom watched my little sister and her, her fiance play soccer. Yeah. Um. Oh, we went to Panera Bread and ate the cookies. You guys probably saw that video already. And hopefully you guys saw that brunch video already. But if not, I'll link the um, videos in the description box below. I think they're really good videos. Well, we watched some stuff on YouTube together. Or I, My mom watched it and I kind of listened because, like, you know how everyone's following the Gabby Petito case and, like, searching for that dude. Brian Laundry that allegedly killed her. I mean, hello, obviously, who else would have killed her, right? 
But, um, so my mom was listening to some of that, so I watched some of that. That's mostly what I watched or listened to with you, right? Yes. Yeah. I didn't... You didn't play that much else that I listened to. No. Or not that you paid attention to, probably. No, that I don't. My <laughs> no, mom, that's okay. Yeah, my mom's also addicted to YouTube. <laughs> it's new to me, though, kind of. No, I know, I know. We're going to be late for you to watch Mysterious. That's okay, that's fine. But hopefully she, she'll post it. Yeah. But you know what the sad part is? She's not even going to do part three on Trisha, is she? Oh, yeah, this isn't going to be about... Yeah, it's going to be about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah, whatever that is. Well, it might be interesting because that's also that's revolving around domestic violence. Yeah. But you know what I'm so disappointed in? So she's really not going to do the Jason Nash and Moses and Trisha thing? Oh, I have no... I don't know. Because that's the part that I was most, like, excited oh. for. I mean, okay, excited sounds like... Is a stretch, I guess. But I just wanted to see if there was anything she had uncovered that maybe I was not aware of. Because I've been watch- watching Trisha ever since she had been with Jason. You know? I have. Yeah. I found out about her... Wait, when did I find out about her? Like 2015? Or when was it? Was it earlier? No. Um, 16? 20... 2017, I think. There are some videos of Trisha's in the past that I really like. Like, I had really liked some of her mukbang videos. Um, She's so suggestive, though. With how she eats. Yeah. Yeah, Well, I'm not saying I... I watch it. The new ones. I'm not saying I like those parts. Uh, No, I watch her, but not the... Not the sexual content. <laughs> the thing is, I never really cared for her mom too much. Yeah. I mean, there are parts of her mom that can be a little interesting, but like, I like her sister all right. You know, I like her, okay? Yeah. I, I wish her sister would make more YouTube videos because her sister has her own channel. Well, yeah, yeah. I wish her sister didn't do OnlyFans. Well, no, I know. The thing is, like, some people, I think they're doing it for the short term. They don't understand that there can be very long-term consequences. Because her sister has a lot of solid strengths, you know? Her sister is very skilled and talented, could work in a lot of different industries. Uh, Do you know what I mean? So, like, I don't know if I was, if I was someone like her, why would I want to possibly ruin those opportunities? But I don't know. I don't know why, like, what her decision thinking was, like, when she was thinking about it, you know? Because with Trisha, I mean, honestly, I do think Trisha's the type of person, yeah, she has to strike while the iron's hot. Oh, yeah. But the thing about Trisha is, she's not a good saver of money. So, if she's not saving money, it's like, she better really enjoy living in the moment then. Because if people, when people, or if people truly get tired of her, what's she going to do then? Right. You know what I mean? Like, McDonald's. But these are the things where, and these are the things where then I start thinking and I'm like, these are millionaire problems. I don't need to think about them. Yeah, right. For sure. I don't need to think about them. I don't want to think about them. So you can see in the background, it's a nice day out. It says it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Have you ever watched her mom's channel? Yes. Uh, months ago, I watched her mom. Her mom cooked. And yeah. Or yes. What? Do you remember what she was cooking and all that? I think, so one of the things, well, what I like about her mom is she is, like, definitely a small town person, like, 
the way she tells stories is like a small town person. And like I understand that I can relate to that, right? But one of the things she seems so far removed from Trisha's trauma. Oh yeah. And Trisha's Trisha had said she doesn't talk about it with her mom, but it's like that's so weird to me. I don't understand that, you know? Yeah. I guess yeah, I really don't understand that. So instead of talking to your mom about your trauma, you're talking to the whole internet about it. How does that make sense? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. That way. Yeah, the road is really bad. It is. Sorry, you guys, it's shaking so much. So now what you'll see are pictures of the first meal we shared together as a family the day after my mom arrived. It was with my little sister's family, my mom and myself. You'll see pictures of the restaurant and mostly pictures of my niece and my mom. And at the very end, you'll see a clip mostly where you can hear my niece and my mom. And they're playing with Play-Doh that the restaurant gives every child. They make it there at the restaurant. And if you've watched this whole video, OMG, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this. Please comment down below the spaghetti emoji, hashtag spaghetti. Also, if you have not already, click like on this video. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you to those who have already subscribed. And also, you, you do want to hit that notification bell so that every time I upload, you are notified. And last but not least, there is only one you. So don't forget to take care of you. Bye, you guys.